I happened to stay here in this homestay, which was around thousand rupees a night, including dinner. On a short walk here in Lachin village, just to explore that while others get ready. There are a lot many, there are a lot many tourist vehicles that go around here in this place, and this is a small village. Not a, we, you do not find public transport here, uh, so it's most of them send their kids to. Gangtok. There is only a government school here. There is no private school as such. This is the Lachen Post Office. So here in this village, you will find a lot of paintings of this kind. And he is going to take us to the next place. Lachin village is uh, really beautiful. You might not get much time to explore this village, but um, just try to explore the northern part. Um, here in the village, you need to. It's a steep climb, but the landscape that you get to see early in the morning is just breathtaking. Just have a look around. So this is how it will look early in the morning. Uh, it's now mid of October, and there's a waterfall at Lachin that you get to see. Well, the most number of people who are staying here are Buddhists, so you'll find a lot of prayer flags all the way around. Not only here, but even on the way from Gangtok to this place. And um, they are too strict about it, to be honest. It's like Buddhist and Hinduism. Uh, you'll find that in every vehicle. By the way, that's the chimney that they've got. Mainly used in the kitchen and also for hot water. And power, if you're coming to this place, remember one thing, power is super unreliable. Um, so most of the bikers who were there with me, they had this common complaint saying, um, there's no power or even mobile signal, uh, because it looks like this is a remote village and I, I, um, I believe this is mainly powered by the hurdle power, but depends on, uh, I mean, it's super unreliable. So make sure that you have the power bank and uh, keep your batteries charged and not all hotels have uh, generators here by the way we are already running late and we're just making we're just waiting for the payment to be done and then we'll be moving out of this place so it's 7 a.m in the morning i would highly recommend you guys to leave by 5 a.m we are super late let's see where a friend is going to take us to Abhiham Jaran Gurudan Mark. Um, this is on the way to Gurudan Mark. And we have stopped here for breakfast. Uh, there, there are a lot of army areas here and there are a lot of regiments. Um, so photography is restricted. And yeah, so I'll not be covering those areas by the way. And you can see that there are like amazing landscapes. The surprising thing is even during winter you might find a snowfall here, but it is not that it's a blocker of any kind. You can still travel to this place. It's freezing cold here, but... Um, by the way, we have stopped right next to um, the highway, which goes to Gurdanmar for breakfast. Uh, it's better to leave early and have breakfast on the way. Um, the things that are available 
would be nagi and uh, momos and uh, some local breakfast and also bread butter jam is what I'm gonna have uh, the one I have it's better to avoid Maggie and few other things while traveling but I'll just take you around uh, here in this it's not a campsite but right next to the shop but it has some amazing landscapes and also we could see some uh, snow-capped mountains while coming to this place oh man it's freezing cold here <laughs> I'll take you to uh, the place where I'm gonna have breakfast. It's a little bit warm because I'll be heading over to the kitchen, kitchen area. It's, it's quite dark inside, but let me take you there. We are gonna have our breakfast here. Describe the pain, I'm really going for an even coat. Jesus took the reins because God ain't going out of season. Let me coffee. 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 Let me coff
auch hier. Ja. We ended up in spending a lot more time than we were supposed to and I ended up in getting altitude sickness symptoms. I had to visit the army camp and get some oxygen supply because my oxygen count had come down to almost 70. By the time we reached Gangtok and it was all downhill, altitude sickness symptoms were no more there. It was an exhaustive journey all the way to Gurudan Marlik and then back to Gangtok, but then it was totally worth it. If you have enjoyed this video, then consider subscribing to my YouTube channel to support my work.